All right, it's been a while since I made a video. It's Monster Drink Fan 605 here, back with another video. It's been like two or one week uh, since I have made a video. I think it's like past two weeks. I think only one more week. Well, anyways, um, I'm going to be giving a little announcement for some changes that are going to occur in 2017. Now, as we know so far, 2016, oh my god, it was fucked up. I mean, I gotta admit, some of the stuff that you have seen on Monster Drink Fan 605 was real. Some of the stuff you see on here is fake. Similar to the Crazy Nephew series, um... Everything on the Crazy Nephew series, uh, some of them are fake and some of them are real, but um, I'm just going to go try to go into detail here of what's going to happen in 2017, and I'll give you guys some maybe some great news. So maybe for 2017, I might probably uh, continue working on my movie Locked. I know, guys, it's taken forever. Please don't push my buttons, please. I mean... I know you guys are really excited for the movie Locked, and I'm excited too. I mean, I gotta admit, I mean, me and Bill had, you know, have wanked the first scene pretty good. I mean, uh, we did some pretty good acting here. In fact, we made the first scene even more scarier than the other scenes. Um, but the ending the movie, I'm thinking about making the ending of the movie more chilling. So it's going to probably maybe give you a little bit of goosebumps. Kind of like how two of my trailers did, but, uh, well, anyways, um, as you guys may know, there's another series that I'm making. It's called the Scam Artist Series, and it's been, been made, uh, a lot, though, and apparently I know it took me a while to think of more episodes since I have made, um... You know, Cat and Mouse and uh, other um, parts of the series. Um, well, to be truly honest, I always wanted to be a person who makes a series. Is Because what inspired me is uh, McJuggernuggets channel. Is because everything you saw on McJuggernuggets channel was fake. I think except the collab, I think. I think the collab was real. I'm not really sure. I can't even tell if the collab was real or fake, though. I mean, he didn't do the ending thing where he says, uh, Rigid Studios, uh, pardon my stuttering, uh, well, anyways, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next for the Scam Artist series. I'm not really sure how it's going to be portrayed next, but as I know so far, it's, a uh, um, story pretty much about a kid who snaps after being harassed multiple times. In fact, one part of the series is actually an actual event. Only instead it happened a long time ago and it's a parody I did on a person which was really stupid and I agree it was really stupid of me so I learned from my mistakes and not do that mistake again. But to be truly honest it's, you know, it's a story I'm actually telling that's uh, betrayed, well, about a little bit of a real life event, kind of, y you know, like I'm I'm kind of betraying a real life event a little bit. So, but to be truly honest, um, it's about this kid who keeps on getting harassing phone calls by this one dude, who is completely anonymous. Like he has a phone number and his name and. The voice is completely anonymous, so you can't really actually tell who he is. In fact, I'm the person who plays the voice of the character. Because I couldn't find another person who would play the, the phone caller, so I kind of struggled a little bit. So, Only instead, I decided to play both of the characters, and I tried to make my voice sound a little bit anonymous. And to be truly honest... um. Don't really know how the changes are going to go in 2017. Because you guys have enjoyed, you know, um, most of the stuff that's on this channel. But, to be truly honest, I don't really know if I'm going to continue my commentary series. I don't really know if I'm going to continue making commentaries or not, though. I don't really know if I'm going to continue making rants. I mean, I still make rants. I mean, 
I've been making rants a lot more than I did commentaries, so, um, but yeah, um, I'm enjoying my job at Goodwill, it's, you know, it's a really big bang job, bang up job, so, ugh, part of my stuttering, that's getting, I'm sorry guys, I know I do that constantly, but, well anyways, um, yeah, like, now I'm a Goodwill employee, um, at the start, you know, like, they showed me most of the stuff, though, but I still got paid at the very beginning, whenever they taught me how to do most of the stuff, like the shipping, uh, pulling orders out, and, uh, uh, you know, like, boxing them up, you know, like, shipping them and stuff like that. I gotta admit, that I'm, uh, this job is pretty fun, I gotta admit, uh, makes a lot of money. Uh, not like a thousand bucks, just pretty much like around 230 it's not pretty bad, though, uh, I mean, in fact, I might probably be able to save up money for a car, because I might be probably planning a lot of events for 2018, or 2017, not really sure yet, but I will be turning 21 in, uh, 2018, because it says on my identification card, uh, so... Pretty much what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm probably going to make one more episode of the Scam Artist series. I don't really know how it's going to go, but it's supposed to be the confession. So what happens is, like, after getting harassing phone calls by one dude and somebody telling him about, this, you know, the recent shootings that happened in schools like Columbine, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, and... And pretty much, you know, like, what the character is supposed to be is he's supposed to be inspired by the events, though. Like, these were actual shootings that happened, but it's based on, uh, the, the series is kind of based on it, mostly, but the characters are kind of fictional, so. But, yeah, um, also, plus, like, I was going to do a reference to American Psycho and, uh, Casino and... Bunch of other gangster killing movies or something like that. Because, uh, you know, like, American Psycho, the, I was supposed to do this, like, one scene. I was thinking about doing this one scene where, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I was thinking about doing this one scene where I listened to Pumped Up Kicks. Kind of relevant to the American Psycho movie where I kill a dude after making him listen to Pumped Up Kicks. And I was going to do, like, a reference to the one scene where he listens to Huey Lewis in the news, like, saying, You like Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People? Yeah, it's okay. Their early work was uh, a little, um, sensual. And then, like, you know, like, continue the scene, like, make it a lot more funny. But I couldn't think of what else for the character to say, because... Um, Patrick Bateman, played by Christian Bale, uh, he said it more differently, but I'm thinking about making it sound a lot more different, just to, like, uh, give people a hint of, like, what scene I'm kind of betraying, so, I was gonna make, like, people, like, maybe laugh their ass off a little bit, like, oh my god, he made a really good joke right there, but... But to be truly honest, just to say to people, like, school shootings or mass shootings or whatever, most of them are fake. And not, not pretty much all of them are real, so. You don't have to worry, like, the series is not trying to make fun of it or anything, it's just pretty much telling a story. So, it pretty much tells a story about when a kid, like, how a person in real life could actually will snap. Like, if, you know, if something was happening to him constantly and he's getting really annoyed by it and wants it to stop. So, how he wants that to stop is to shoot people. But the thing with the series, uh, the series is kind of betraying it, mostly. But I'll tell you, most of the crazy events that happened in 2016... Excuse me, uh, I almost said 2017 for a second, which is right now, and, well, it'll be pretty much, um, like, the day before 2017 actually happened, like, uh, just right before I, uh, started watching the ball drop, and 
I was watching a wrestling DVD that JR gave me for Christmas, and an Amber Alert happened uh, on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, like, what happened is, like, um, <clears throat> an eight-month-year-old child was kidnapped by a person that was driving a green Ford Explorer, I think that's what you call it. A green four-door Explorer. I think that's pretty much what you call it. I, it did say on my phone, it's something like that. It's kind of like a van. I looked it up on Google. And there was like a bunch of pictures of cars pretty much look much the same thing. And I looked it up and the only reason why I looked it up is I kind of figured that maybe I can help them find the child since, you know, I can help them find the actual car with the license plate and where the car is going. And the thing is, it was kind of sad, though, is because I thought the parents weren't able to, you know, start New Year's Eve, you know, cleanly by, you know, watching New Year's Eve, you know, the ball drop and everything with their eight-month-year-old child. Because I didn't know it was an eight-month-year-old child until I actually looked it up on the Internet. Because, uh, well, first... Uh, it showed up on the TV, then I looked at my phone, and it showed up on my phone. And I gotta admit, I was almost literally in tears. I mean, this was actually a real thing. I was legit almost in tears. Whenever I heard about the eight-month-year-old child being kidnapped. I mean, I mean, I gotta admit, that was really sad. I mean, I, I thought the parents weren't able to watch the ball drop with their eight-month-year-old child. Just, you know, I was going to tell you about this one joke I made for New Year's Day, but I decided to save it out of respect for um, what happened on that day before New Year's Day came out. But uh, this was in Pennsylvania, so I don't know if you guys, if some of you guys are in this, you know, state or not, though, but it's in Pennsylvania. And to be truly honest, Pennsylvania is pretty crazy. That's why I'm going to be talking about 2017, tell you guys, like, how it, you know, was, you know, like, how it occurred. Well, first of all, I had my Xbox 360 microphone stolen in 2016. And that's why I think that 2016 was just too crazy for me. I mean, I got to admit, there was so much drama, there was so much problems. But at least I have a job. That's one thing I always have to, you know, like, be happy about. You know, just my job. And my girlfriend and everybody that makes me happy and everything. But, but yeah, 2016 was pretty awkward. Especially with the killer clown sightings. And a lot of people are now saying that it's probably a hoax. And to be pretty much... Uh, to be pretty, you know, I forgot the wo the word I was going to say, but the killer clown sightings was pretty crazy, but it was a hoax, and I legit thought it was serious, because <clears throat> JR did say that there's been some clown sightings in Dubois, but I haven't seen any clowns or anything, so... I mean, I would be shocked if I did see a clown. I mean, one time I saw a person, like, walking in the middle of the street, and I thought that was a clown at first, though. Like, when they told me the stories, like, whenever they said that this clown 